fresh from the mailbox this came in today I think this is one over 144 scale tanks uh, about an estimate of $375 US really dirt cheap eh anyway I'm going to be building a a four stage diorama a four in one diorama if you will my interpretation of the uh, tanks stages or phases from production invasion expansion then destruction I started to play around with the tanks and uh, sort of like trying out different uh, positions or places and then making it into four quadrants I will try to make this a compact diorama but not too small in such a way that I should be able to show the visuals of the uh, four stages if you notice the four quadrants had different levels or elevation just to distinguish the different stages okay the materials that I'm using right now is the central board the most versatile material that I can find around and which I find again as I mentioned in my last video uh, one of my favorite materials for structural building For the factory's roof trusses, I use the uh, plastic card or the styrene sheets. Subsequently, I created the train's transport platform cart using the same material. Now for the wheels of the train cart, I used the several parts from other models. Some people call it kit bash, you know, but I was just scrounging around for parts and I found this uh, wheel hub from an aircraft. Uh, model and I use the Hokoman 135 Dragon suspension also. For the overhead engine crane or crane, I used several parts also from other kits. This one is the landing gear of an aircraft model 1 over 48.
Now, once the ground layer has been applied, you can see uh, you let it dry. Once it's dry, it's ready for painting. For the glass window of the factory building, I use the clear acetate the food packaging. Once cut into the shape, you can now use the masking tape to serve as window panes. Now for the other window, I used the tracing paper. So that itself is not clear, but I see the texture. It's supposed to be smoky in appearance and not as clear as the uh, acetate. Using an old Pamilla diorama pavement sheet, uh, as you notice, I, I never throw out scraps, so I tried to put them together in small itsy bitsy, bitsy peeny weeny peeny weeny pieces, and uh, those patterns um, will be covered by the breed later on. Shout out to my friend Thrifty Builder out there. Uh, for this small scale model, I just had to make some minor adjustments and some tweaking just to make some things uh, look a bit, look a bit right, not so accurate. 
actually for the uh, machine gun ports and the driver's uh, visual slits.
for the tall grass i used an aftermarket product given to me by my old friend and uh, if you want you can also buy a, a, a cheap spare uh paintbrush that has to, um, some brown or white bristles on it you can use that as well Again, this diorama is a, a, a four-in-one diorama that captures the different stages or phases of a World War II tank, particularly in Germany, from production to invasion to expansion and then finally to destruction. Not only that it tells you the different phases as a story, but it also shows you the, the different styles and, and, and uh, uh, diorama features from, from all weathers, from all terrain, different terrains. and you know uh, what have you and again I tried to make this as small and compact as possible the space saver if you will but not necessarily compromising the visuals if you've reached this part or segment of the video I have nothing but thanks and praises to you thank you very much for keeping me company and keeping up with me thank you for being there and don't forget please subscribe yowza